Hi everyone, welcome to my channel! In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this type of square pizza boxes. I'm starting with a 12 by 12 inches sheet of paper from which I'm going to make uh, three boxes in different sizes. For the first one, I'm using a 12 by 6 inches sheet of paper. And then I'm going to score on the long side uh, 3 quarter inches, 5 and 5 eighths of an inch, 6 and 3 eighths of an inch, and 11 and a quarter inches. Then on the short side, uh, 3 quarter inch and 5 and a quarter inch. Next I'm cutting a slit on each side of the score lines. Fold and burnish all the score lines. The next step is to assemble the box. In order to do that, uh, you need to add a piece of strong double-sided tape on all the small flaps. Lift the flap and affix it. I kind of rushed in uh, gluing into place the opposite flap. But before doing that, you need to cut a semicircle, which will help you to open the lid of the box. Next, uh, you need to trim the bottom of the lid on an angle. This will help you open and close the lid easily. To finish, uh, you need to fold the middle of the box in order to form like a Z shape and adhere the small flaps into place. Now I'm going to assemble the other two boxes I cut from the same uh, paper. As for the other box, I uh, added double-sided tape on all the small flaps. I cut a semicircle on one side of, of the box, which will be the lid. I trimmed the bottom of the lid on an angle and then assembled everything. You can adapt the measurements to make any size or shape you want. I would recommend deciding the height of your box first. For example, I have a 3 quarter of an inch high or half an inch high box. Then you take this measurement as a guide for the next steps.
Now I'm going to show you another way to make this type of box. My box is five and a half inches by five and a half inches. For this box you will need two eight by eight inches sheet of paper and you need to score it at one and a quarter inch on all the four sides. Next, I'm deciding on which side I want the two sheets of paper to meet. I'm adding double-sided tape on one sheet of paper and from the other one I'm cutting away the corners. Then affix them. The next steps are similar to the ones for the other boxes. So now I'm folding and burnishing everything. Then uh, cut the slits on the sides. Cut a semicircle and add double sided tape on all the short flaps. I trim the lid and assemble the box. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and will try making your own boxes. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you here again soon. Happy crafting!